Hey, so I was trying to do a Facebook Live, but Facebook's being stupid, or maybe it's my phone, or maybe it's my internet, but anyway, I just wanted to come and talk to you about grief. You know, um, when I was younger, having gone through a lot of abuse and stuff like that, grief was a very hard thing for me, and it's not that it's any easier now, it's just that I see the other side of it. Um... Having just gone to a funeral yesterday, it's always very <laughs> eye-opening, you know, how blessed we really are to be here every day. Um, that was kind of double duty for me yesterday because Jackie, my friend at um, Uncle Ed's Care Home, adored Rocco. Just absolutely adored him. And having lost him, you know, going on a month now, um, it was kind of double duty for me. On the way home, I completely lost it. Um, because I miss Rocco. I probably always will. Um, but on the other side of that was knowing that he loved Jackie so much. And Jackie loved him. And knowing that when Jackie got there, that he would be waiting for her. Um, it was kind of beautiful. Because he's that way. He was so social. And he loved everyone he met. I mean, I don't remember a time that he just didn't love everyone he met. And, I'll move these out of the way in case I cry. I don't want to get my projects. I'm doing this today. I thought everybody needs some encouragement. So I'm doing Shine Brightly. I have another one too that just says Shine Bright. I don't know. I'm really struggling with the yellows though. Being different. Anyway, um, but, you know, he was just so friendly and so loving, and he just knew that everybody loved him. And, I mean, of course, there were some people who didn't. Um, I kind of think that they're maybe a little inhumane who cannot love my dog because Rocco was an amazing boy. But um, the other part of that with love and grief is... Um, that I consider myself so blessed that I met Jackie and that I also had Rocco. And when we got Rocco, um, one of the first things I said was, Randy, I don't think I can do the ending. And he said, yeah, but you know, the ending is so far away. And truthfully, we only got nine years with him, but those nine years were so amazing. Um, he showed me that I could love again. I got him mostly to find out if I could love again after being estranged from our um, three youngest children um, one of them was especially especially hard on me the horrible horrible things that were said about me and to me um, and I believe that that was probably one of the worst things that I'd ever gone through and so kind of Rocco he was a service dog and he was licensed as a service dog and he was trained as a service dog and he was a very 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 good service dog but I couldn't keep him only unto myself. So when we went places, part of my therapy was watching him love everybody else. Watching him look at me and go, did I see what I thought I saw? I thought I saw them say, come, did you see that mom? And I would be like, yeah. And then he would go and he would just, you know, sometimes he would kiss them. He wasn't a big kisser, but if you got a kiss from him, you were very, very special because... He didn't kiss everybody. I had to bribe him, and I'm his mom. Now, Thor's a very big kisser. He'll kiss you and kiss you and kiss you, which sometimes, and when it, when it comes to Jace, he's just, like, over-kissing. So we're working on that. But anyway, um, so to look at it another way is, yes, they're gone from your life, but you'll always have those memories. You'll always have those treasured. Maybe they gave you something. Maybe you learned something from them. Um, and... You know, forever they'll be a part of you because, you know, they they probably invested into you. And so there's that other side of it, you know, the side of beauty that, um, like, yeah, it hurts that they're gone. But what they gave you, um, who they made you, they invested into you, that love. And I know Rocco um, was very good about that. He was very good about loving people. And Jackie... Um, when I went to see her one time and, and she had not been there and we were concerned and she started to cry and I was like, what are you crying for? And she goes, you care. And I said, of course we care, Jackie. We love you. You're kind of part of our family now. And so anyway, 
um, she was an amazing lady, very talented, um, very social, very friendly. I kind of maybe imagine, imagine me a little bit like her when I get a little bit older. Um, and I am a little bit now, you know, I am very open, very loving, very friendly, very social. Um, so whenever you have a loved one that you're losing or lost or, you know, missing, stop to take a look at the other side of that. If you hadn't had them in your life, um, where would you be? Who would you be? Um, yeah, it sucks to lose people and it's part of loving people. And I remember, um, before I got healed, when I used to keep myself in a cave and, um, internally, not external, not literally, um, but I kept my, my emotions and my heart locked deep in a cave and I'll never forget how dark and cold and wet it was there. It was just icky and if hurting is the price I'll pay for loving people, then it's so much better than being in that cave alone, empty, lonely. And so think about that. Think about that. And, um, so I'm going to leave you with that and I hope you have a magnificent day and, uh, I'm blessed that I got to have Rocco for nine years and I'm blessed that I got to know Jackie and, um, try to turn it around. I mean, it's, it's taken a while, you know, yesterday I had a good cry about Rocco and I'm not ready to do his, um, memory board yet. Um, I know that it will bring great healing when I do. Um, when I did my dad's collages, um, his scrapbook pages, there was a lot of tears, but there was a lot of memories. And we got to turn that around so that we can enjoy the memories that we have of them. So anyway, yes, my eyes look very blue today. Usually um, when I'm sad, they're dark blue, but... I don't know, they're a little bit lighter than that today, maybe, but they're pretty. Anyway, um, rambling here. So, try to turn it around. And I know it's hard to lose people that you love, but we're so blessed we had them. So, make it a great day. Do something nice for somebody else. That always makes me feel so good. And make it a magnificent day. I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.